Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I'm going to be creating a workout tracker for this workout program I'm doing. It's called Morning Meltdown 100. And I actually seen someone on Instagram create a, tr a tracker just like this and I, for the life of me, cannot figure out who created it. I have went through my saved stuff, I've went through hashtags, I've went through multiple people's profiles because I thought they did it and I couldn't find it. So if you created a Morning Meltdown 100 tracker for the Happy Planner, please let me know. I totally want to give you credit because you deserve credit because that was a phenomenal idea and I'm so glad you shared it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the inspiration. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. So the workout program I'm doing comes with a workout tracker and I've actually done this program before and the last time I did I used that tracker but I really love the idea of having one inside of my planner in my fitness section. That way everything's right there together. I don't have to go to multiple places to track my workouts. So I really love this idea. It was a great idea. And to save time, I actually went through with the pencil ahead of time and I counted out um, the dots to create this column so I could get all 100 workouts in it. And here I'm just going over my pencil marks with a micron and a ruler so I could actually create the column to track the workouts. So the page I'm using is actually a classic size dot grid page and I just cut it down as if it was gonna go inside of a skinny classic planner. And as you can see, I messed up and I made an extra little column right at the top, but it ends up getting covered up here soon, so no big deal on that. And I, um, you'll also notice another mess up I did here soon. I did not have enough um, blocks for all 100 workouts, so I had to go back through and add another column to the right side. And here's where I started to write in the workout numbers and then that's when I realized that I, I needed another column on the right side so I went back through and I added it. And here I ended up not using the ruler for the smaller lines. They're not straight at all, um, but I wasn't I wasn't going to do all that for those little little sections. Okay, now back to actually putting the workout numbers in there since I have enough blocks for all of the workouts. Now I will link the micron pins down below in the description box. I don't necessarily like writing with these. Like I know I'm writing the numbers out, but to fully write with them inside of my planner, I'm not a fan of them. They're really scratchy to me, but I love them for creating my own spreads. Actually, I think that's what that the microns are for is for people who draw for like sketching and different things like that. So I really do like them for that. But as far as to like sit down and write a bunch of stuff inside of my planner, I'm not a fan of them. But like I said, I do like them for creating my own spreads. So here I have the fun alphabet sticker book and I'm going to title this page 100 workouts. 
I thought this turned out so stinking cute. And this is also what helped me cover up that extra, extra little tiny block that I made at the top. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone so here I have a jelly roll pen and I'm using it in between those letters to cover up the lines from that smaller block up top. So this is how I ended up covering up that block completely and you can't even see that it's there. So now I'm getting out the squad goals sticker book and I'm going to get out the wrong wrong fitness sticker book and I'm going to decorate this little tracker. I love 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 the squad goals sticker book. This thing is so stinking cute. These little babes on their on their yoga mats and doing their little yoga poses and stuff. I just they're so stinking cute. I love it. Now here's where I get out the wrong wrong mini fitness sticker book and I love love these clear stickers that have the headphones and the water bottles and the shoes and the yoga mats. I just think that those are so so stinking cute. So I decided to write down the name of each workout on the back of the sheet. So for example, workout number one is called cardio meltdown. Workout number two is called upbeat strength. 
And initially I wasn't going to do this, but I like to do this because sometimes I like to double up on workouts and I don't want to double up on like two leg day workouts. You know what I mean? That's just too much on the legs or I don't want to double up on two cardio sessions. I'd rather like do a cardio session and then maybe like an upper body session if I'm going to double up. So I thought that it was important to actually write out what each number of the workout was for. This took a lot of writing. <laughs> it took so stinking long. I mean, it's easy to look up. It really is. It's I got an app on my phone where I can access all of my workouts. It's kind of like, um, you know, workout for Netflix, and um, it's so easy to access. But I just wanted, I just wanted to write them all down, I guess. And I ended up having to get create another sheet, which you'll see here, to where I could write the rest of the workouts down on another one because I didn't have enough room. And I am definitely not someone who can write straight. <laughs> I like to write either uphill or downhill. So here I had to take that sticker up because I realized I wasn't going to have enough room for the workouts for the rest of the workouts if I didn't take that sticker up and replace it with something else because on the back of that sheet my goal is to have a before and after photo of this program and I would like to have a place to keep all of that together so I wanted to make sure I got the rest of those workouts on that page. So that is my morning meltdown 100 workout tracker. I absolutely love this thing. As I go, as I finish the workouts, I'm just going to highlight them so I know that they're done. Again, to whoever created this, thank you so much. This was a fantastic idea and I'm so stinking glad that I seen it. It's such a great little tracker to have. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video.